Putin's reaction to Putin's election has been far more measured. Until now, the prime ministers haven't exactly been close. Putin didn't even make it onto Cameron's extensive Christmas card list last year. But while Cameron may not have congratulated Putin on winning, he has endorsed the result. It's clear the election has delivered a decisive result. Even the NGO polling data put Putin above the 50% needed to win in the first round. The same can't be said of Britain. According to the Electoral Reform Society, two-thirds of MPs elected in 2010 lacked a clear majority, thanks to the ballot method of first-past-the-post. Is Russia's electoral system perfect? No, it's not, but then no electoral system in the world is perfect. Let's not forget, in Britain, no British Prime Minister ever achieves anywhere near 50% of the votes. The protest movement against Putin's return to the presidency is certainly loud, but according to official election results, it's dwarfed by those in favour. Putin received almost 64% of the vote. Miliband predicts that support won't last for long. But while it does, Britain will have to like it or lump it if it wants to do business. Ivor Bennett, RT, London. In contrast to assessments by the West, Russian authorities said the recent election was the most transparent in the country's history. To support this claim, there were a record number of international election observers and some 200,000 web cameras installed at polling stations. But as RT's Tabang Musei found out, the costly initiative served not just to ensure transparency, but also to produce some moments of hilarity. Allegations of widespread vote fraud in last December's parliamentary elections set off a wave of massive protests against Mr. Putin. Sensitive to the incited opposition, he ordered installation of web cameras at all of Russia's polling stations. It has been a very ambitious and costly project for the Russian government. Not everybody was convinced by the use of the web cameras to ensure transparency. The cameras, however, did prove to be quite handy in some provinces, such as Dagestan, where in one station, the results were cancelled after cameras showed violations of election procedures. The web cameras reproduce a fascinating slice of Russian provincial life, which went viral and got hundreds of clicks on social networking sites such as YouTube. Some even joked that Mr. Putin gave us the best reality show. Cameras captured various activities from cultural dancing in Chechnya. Russian women ads training and lots of dancing. One video that was a hit with over 300,000 hits on YouTube showed this man bringing Michael Jackson's moonwalk back to life while casting his ballad. <laughs> We caught up with him and asked if he expected his video to be this popular. I would say we did it for fun, not for fame. Actually, I was surprised that we were the only ones who voted this way. I thought there should have been more people like us. There were a lot of opportunities to create whatever you want. I hope next time people will vote more creatively. With the election over now, the world and the country awaits the swearing-in of the president-elect Mr. Vladimir Putin. As for the rest of us, there's no doubt we'll never forget the glimpses that people gave us of their lives from all across the country. And those who thought that their moment on camera wasn't being watched, but really, we were looking. Tabang Muzé, RT, Moscow. Well, explore this week's top story in